Yeah, now look at you now. You're doing all these collaborations. You're tattooing Beyonce, Travis Barker, and now you're working with Modelo. Yes. And yes. So tell us about this new. Beer. Tell us about this new uh, collaboration. Well, you know, it's surreal to me. It's uh, a brand that you know I already use, I already invested in, if you will, and uh, to work with them is. Uh, is honor because they let me do, of course, what I like to do. They, they want me to stay true to my style. And designing artwork for a can, I mean, I've, I've never done that before, you know, and especially um, in the way that we're able to do it with uh, the colors and, you know, a lot of my work is black and gray. So to be able to come out of my, my normal workflow and, and kind of go full color with it really celebration style and celebrating our, our dead homies and our, our loved ones that have passed. And um, it's just a, a great way to kind of party for something that can be taken so serious like death, you know? So it's a good time of the year to uh, get with your family and uh, pour some out for the homies. And, uh, you know, just be grateful for what we got. and. I'm able to do this artwork and, you know, do all these little characters and do posters and do the three pack and glassware that goes into the bars. Man, this this is fun, bro. This is this is like you know, yeah, it's hard to explain. So, how much uh, how much fun it is? Yeah, I could tell. Um, both of my parents recently passed away, so when I mm -hmm. saw this promotion. I was, uh, to say the least, I was really taken back. Um, as a person that loves design and art and is a big supporter of it, um, I was just really happy to see that a brand like Modelo would take the, take the you know, just take the initiative mm -hmm. to uh, honor the people who taught and loved and fought for us and supported us yeah. through our lives. So I think yeah. what you're doing is simply amazing. So having said that, how are you, and what are you doing? What do you look for when you're going to be selecting the winners of this contest? Well, that's just it. You know, the winner of this contest is someone that's, you know, been really honest and, and, and creative with the way that they explain their loved one that's not here. We want to look at everybody and pick that that character that's going to end up in my chair. You know, we're going to, we're going to end up spending six hours in the studio together. Not six full hours of tattooing because we order food, you know, crack a cold one. It's going to be a, a, a very um, personal and, and spiritual, if you will, session. You know what I'm saying? Uh, spiritual in the fact that we are, are dedicating this session to someone that's not here. We're going to uh, make something artistic that tries to encompass their life a little bit. And someone wants to sport on their arm for the rest of their life, you know. So we're gonna find that middle of a of a dedication yet tattoo tradition and keep that so they're looking right and it's a conversation piece for the rest of their life, you know. Nice. So you're gonna be looking at placement and um probably I'm sure some kind of ornaments. Um so if somebody yes. wanted to do, so would you be uh, are you gonna be doing or do you foresee yourself doing any types of portraits or portraitures or just going to do something that are going to explain to the person that you're doing with them that um, you're going to do something that's symbolic of their, their relative or family member? Yes, I think it's, it's less of a portrait style and more towards an icon that represents them and kind of also doing it in the celebration of the art culture, you know, of uh, Dia de los Muertos, you know, of, of that vibe is going to be in that tattoo. So I want to like stay in that vibe. And, uh, you know, the goal is to find someone that uh, mirrors that and they can sport it, you know. I want to fit that person. After right. rapping to them and, and, and talking about their loved one and looking at the icons available, we're going to meet in the middle to where they're going to be like, yeah, that's me. That's beautiful. So something like for me, um, I'm not real big on portraits either. I like um, ethereal um, and tribal type tattoos. 
So yeah. tattoos are, yes. Yeah, so tattoos are very in the vein of what you always do and what, which we always love. Um, they have so much emotion, depth. Um, so I can definitely see that's great. Um, so when you heard about this initially, what did you, this whole, um, I guess, activation, when you heard about it, how did you react? And where were you when you heard about it initially? Yeah, it, it's a trip because I like that Movello is trying to connect with, you know, the people out there. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's hear it from them. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's see what they're about and their creativity and, and you know, hear their stories. And I just thought it was a rare thing that, too, that they're going to get a tattoo because I have not been tattooing a lot, you know, due to the pandemic, due to these things, boy, it, it put a, a, it put me back farther than I already was, you know, because tattoos are one at a time, you know, each person has a different canvas, you know, uh, it, it's not a flat piece of canvas, it's curved, it's, it's moving, it's living, you know, this, this is a lot of pressure on the daily, right? But so I've been actually doing these type of, of collaborations and painting my fine art. I've been diving in the big canvases. I have an art show in a year that I have to prepare for. So it takes a lot of concentration. So I've been kind of put my tattooing uh, on hold and they're kind of like chess pieces. You know, I'm gonna have to, someone's gonna be in that chair with me and we're, we're gonna chop it up. We're gonna order food. We're gonna talk about their people. It, it, it's a big day, you know, so uh, leave it to, to a promotion like this to make it happen, whatever it takes, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, this is an amazing promotion. A lot of times we have promotions and we do like immersive pop-ups. Mm -hmm. um, we, you know, and um, people are like, what are you doing this? And I'm like, we have a tattoo artist. So we yeah. have a tattoo artist on the premises and they're doing tattoos on people. Um, as a uh, you know, as a um, complimentary thing, when you sure. come to the event, it's it's a mark on them. It's symbolic of what mm -hmm. that that event is about, and it's memorable. And what you're gonna do and create for this person sure. is um is what I um uh, what I love and enjoy about you because I have those tattoos on my. So my parents, mm -hmm. man. So when I heard about this promotion, I had to talk to you. For sure. So, because you are gonna make someone's difference for someone. You're gonna make someone feel so happy and proud to, um, you know, just to be. I mean, you're an amazing artist, and then you're still pushing and going on, and you're still running with your baton as a trailblazer. And I know you know that. And I know you see that and you feel that and you hear that a lot, but I'm telling you what you're doing with this, with this promotion is nothing short of beautiful. And I'm so Thank happy and proud you, of you. That's real, there, man. Thank you so much. Is there yeah. anything else? Oh, go no, ahead, I'm going to have to be like, I'll tell you what, it wouldn't be the first time that, you know, the, the customer gets emotional and I do too, man. I, you know, I got parents and, and kids too. So I mean, man, this is, it's really heavy, you know. It's heavy to do for a collaboration. You are touching on some of the most important things for people. But that's what I love about it is that it's celebrating their life. It's celebrating. You know, everyone talks about, oh, celebration of life. Like, everyone wants to do funerals different, I think, right now, right? Like that whole old school style where it's just a almost heartbreaking, wrenchy thing. People are kind of like, you know what, man? That was a bad, my, my homie was cool, man. He wouldn't want that. Like, we're gonna party for him, you know what I mean? We're gonna, hey, I'm gonna light a candle and I'm gonna, you know, draw his name, but we're gonna pour some out and have a party for this person. We're gonna eat, our whole family's coming over. So that, that approach, man, just really brings me up for the most painful days we have ahead or we've had in our past, right? Uh, dealing with death, with, you know, the the whole idea of DI is, is is a good way that, you know, and it almost got lost, say, in the 70s, man. You know, coming over to America, a lot of people weren't celebrating that. It was like this revive, 
you know, how do you say, a reborn of uh, people saying, hey, we can't forget our culture. You know, let, let's bring this from Mex and back into America more. Let's, and it takes a company, a legit company, like, you know, Modelo to be able to pull that off and connect artwork with it and, and do this and be able to have the, uh, the pool to make all this happen. It's a lot of moving parts, you know, but thank and you. Many, yeah, thank you as well. And how many, um, this artwork will also be displayed on a can as well, the one you pick, right? Or will it not? Well, with, this, with the promotion, you mean? Yes. Yeah, the canvas will be that person, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. The first the thing is the end result tattoo on them. And, you know, the POP is some of the coolest that I've ever done. You walk into the liquor store in your neighborhood, they'll have crazy cutouts in there. You know, with, with this with this year around, we were able to change the can, you know, and I was able to go from the multiple um, skulls into the one sugar skull, right? And then to put the, the marigolds at the bottom you know, for our loved ones, the candles lit, the old English fonts, we were able to really, you know, well, they're one of the few people that, that do a, a collaboration with the artists, you know what I'm saying? And all the way through from the glassware that goes into to the bars, a lot of that stuff is it's not for sale. I mean, I, I think they could sell a gang of merch if they did that, right? But they're more about like, nah, that's not for sale. That's for you got to walk into a bar and catch it there. You know, it's, it, it's um, they, they, they go out of the way and make these crazy sculptures for the liquor store. Like this skull would be a bobblehead with a Pendleton on inside of a, of a yeah, or I even get surprised and it's my, my work because they take it to another level. They, they include all these other artists, even on my campaign, to make the POP for the stores, which is point of purchase for the for the layman out there, right? Uh, the little cardboard, they did a cardboard cutout before of me tattooing one of my homies. Like he sat in the chair and then I'm on the side tattooing him, life size, but the face was cut out. So you put your face in there and it's, it's me, you know, like the classic picture. They have cool things like that. Like, crazy things that activate, like you said, with the community. And, um, you know, if it, if it wasn't the pandemic, you're probably even crazy. I mean, I know the pande pandemic seems behind us, but it, uh, we, they still did a lot for, for being online and, and doing these activations. Is there any thoughts you can leave with us um, regarding this activation? and or a one time in your life that triggered you to become a designer or a person or human that, that's no longer here with us that triggered mm. you to do this work? Yes. Um, you know, going back and, and thinking about your career, you know, not even that, my son came and told me that one of his, he's 18 years old, one of his partners that he went to high school with recently got killed in, a, in, a, in an accident. Um, San, he went to San Jose, football player. It's been all over the news. And here's this young kid full of life, you know, and my son is experiencing his first friend that he knew pass away like that, you know. And I don't know if that ever gets like normal, you know what I mean? I got my dead homies tattooed all over my arms. It's just my way. I put their names in my murals. Uh, I try to keep that alive. Um, one of my homeboys name was uh, Bronson. And he was a real, real character, man. Everyone loved him. Uh, he had an auto body shop in East LA. And um, we'd hang out there. And he passed. And I named my character, my little cat that I have, my little uh, mascot, I named him Bronson. And I put him in my mirror work, you know, so that's one thing, you know, I challenge everybody to do is to keep those people's names alive, you know. Um, those people that meant someone to you, keep them alive for getting a tattoo, a painting in your, in your crib. Um, I don't know, I would etch my homeboys' names in the wall, you know what I mean? Just like carve their names in the wall. Uh, it's, uh, 
it's heavy. You don't think about that we're actually, uh, but it's our way, I think, of celebrating and not getting too down. You know, uh, there's a time for mourning. So I, I think there's no way around that. But then what do you do right after that? So it's one of the biggest fears for people, I think, is being separated from the children, separated from their parents. You know, it's the living, right, that, that suffer. So I think, you know, my idea when I when I die, I'm going back to the same place I was before I was born. That same nothingness, that same bliss, beauty that I can't even like, you know, fathom in my head, you know? It could be an amusement park in the clouds, a strip mall in the sky, but hopefully- Or set, or set on, or, or, or set on print y'all. <laughs> yeah, pick your location, you know what I'm right. saying? Uh, but yeah, but thank you so, but thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you so much for sharing that with us because you know a lot of people don't know where Bronson was from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, now, so you yeah. you educated us on the Bronson because I was like, I love Bronson the cat, but where is he from? So I know now. <laughs> That's tight. So thank What's you up, so Javier? much. What's up, brother? How are you? Sorry for the time. Yeah, I was, I was wrapping up another. I was like, I can't not stop by and say what's up. And I'm so happy you're doing this collaboration. I'm actually really enjoying your conversation with each other. Oh. Um, how emotional and, you know, how mm. real it is. And, you know, talking about death is not easy, you know. It's talking about mm. transformation, right? Like, I think, like, we have to think about that and get that uh, more in the celebratory, as you're saying, how we do things. You know, a lot yeah. of like, folks, we like to celebrate. We like to, you know, yeah. have parties and, you know, Keep yeah, folks' yeah. Uh, spirits alive. So I'm happy that you're doing this again with Modelo. I'm yeah. happy that the relationship is continuing to grow. And I can't wait to see the altars that come up. Yeah, these altars is, is some of the creative things that people are doing. I mean, that's that's exciting to, to include everybody, you know. And I think that's what the fighting spirit is about, too. You know, not to sound corny or anything, but it's being an underdog. And, you know, a lot of this stuff wasn't laid out for us. We had to create our own lanes and... We bring our friends with us and um, it won't always be easy, you know, and uh, these are real concepts that people are talking about, but hey, if we don't talk about it and we don't create things for it, we don't want it to fade away, you know, and, and we want to give people something, uh, you know, hey, this is, this is art, you know, regardless, like when you get this, you're supporting art and you can get a buzz. So, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. You know, what else every I time say? we talk, we, you, got it. you got it. Every <laughs> time we talk, like a few T-shirt ideas come out. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of them. Art in a buzz. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, Mr. Oh, Cartoon. Yeah. We can't wait to get that bobblehead signed by you. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Blessings, brother, and anything Thank that we you. can do for you, you know, you, we're always here at 360. We freaking love you. Yeah. We respect Thank you, brother. Like, we, after we spoke last year, literally, I kept educating folks and folks at the Isle of Muerto. Yeah. Actually, my mom is going to be in Mexico ahora, Mexico oh, City, for the Isle of Muerto. That's so real celebration. <laughs> wow, she's, she's G for that. Yeah. yeah. Big thing, man. Congrats. Igual, igual. Bueno, thank you, Mr. Cartoon. I know yeah, that was a good time. Go ahead, Vaughn. And it was a pleasure speaking with you. And like he said before, we can't wait to support your show, your new your new show, your art <laughs> show, as well as yeah. these, these authors. But um, yeah, we were so proud of you. Keep trailblazing and running with that torch, man, because you're doing a great job. And we appreciate everything you're doing for all of our communities. I appreciate you. Thank you for the great questions and the honesty, man. Really appreciate it. <laughs>